Hello there, welcome to my workshop. So hey, spring is literally just right around the corner and in preparation for spring, a lot of people like to put birdhouses out in the yard. So in this episode of Being a Craftsman DIY, we're gonna be making birdhouse. So far, a lot of the projects that I've done on this show has basically been a skill level three. This is gonna be a skill level one because you're gonna have um, kind of a requirement for very minimal amount of skills. But I'm gonna add a little twist at the end to kind of make it a little bit more interesting for those of you who want a little bit more of a challenge. But this is coming straight from a book that I have and I just acquired this from um, one of my grandparents and it's all about birdhouses. So I found a design in here for a simple birdhouse. And so I will put a link or actually I'll post a picture of this on the website so that you can download the same template and build it the same way that I'm doing. So let's go ahead and get started. So for this project, you're gonna need two boards from your hardware store. And when you're going to look for these boards, you wanna make sure you find 3 8 of an inch thick. And I went ahead and grabbed two of these that are 36 inches long and six inches wide. They're actually five and a half. So in my measurements, I've made some adjustments on the plan so that they will match what we're actually building. So the first step that you're gonna to wanna to do is go to my website and you can find that by going in the description of this video and then following the links to download the plans for this birdhouse and then cut out every board according to the plan that I have provided for you. So here's a really good tip that you might wanna know before you go ahead and cut the sides of this birdhouse. When you're trying to cut the same cut twice, so for instance, in this side, we've got an angle for the top of the birdhouse. Instead of cutting it once and then trying to trace the exact measurement on the next board, here's the trick. What you wanna do is take them together and then take some painter's tape and then tape them together, but make sure you tape them together nice and tight and make sure all the edges are lined up and then all you got to do is make the cut one time and that'll ensure that you have a perfect match for both sides of your birdhouse. And now the next step is to take the front piece and then still using our plans, mark out where the holes are gonna be for our dowel and for the hole for the bird to go through. And then go ahead and drill a quarter inch hole and then a hole an inch and a half. Before we go any further, we're gonna to want to cut our piece of dowel to stick in this. And we're gonna cut this dowel to be an inch and a half in length. And also, one thing to note, this dowel is actually one size bigger than the hole. And the reason for that is we want this to be tight so that there's no play and it won't come out. And you don't really have to use any glue, although I'm still gonna use glue just to make it um, you know definitely I won't have a problem I don't want to have this thing come out in years to come so um, this is actually a 5 16 piece of dowel we'll cut that off and just to give it a little bit of an ease to go in I'm gonna just kind of chamfer the edge of the dowel a little bit with some sandpaper And as I said, for a little precaution, just gonna add a dab of glue, not a lot, just 
something to give it a little bit of protection even though this is going to be nice and tight you know through the years it could potentially become weaker and we're going to set it there and hammer it in okay and then we're going to wipe off this excess glue and that part is done much better to do that before you assemble your birdhouse. So for the next step to this birdhouse, I'm going to take my uh, scrap board here that I kind of do painting and staining and, and all sorts of things on and lay that on my workbench just to give me some protection from the glue because what we're going to do now is glue this up. So I would advise that before you glue this up, you're going to want to make sure that everything fits right. So what you want to do is what we call a dry fit. And a dry fit is simply exactly what that means. You want to take all the boards that you have for every side and just, you know, try to hold it by hand, making sure that everything lines up correctly. This bottom piece should fit within the bottom of your birdhouse and the side should go against the side, not on it like this, but on the sides. And if you do that correctly and everything lines up, you should not have extra gaps and extra holes and, and things of that nature. Should line up pretty good. And uh, right now I would say I'm good to go. So I'm gonna put some glue on these and then go ahead and clamp it up and let that set overnight. Now the next day it's time to put the roof on this burnt house and the best way that I like to do it is just to turn it upside down and then all you got to do is eyeball the center or relatively the center I like to have a little bit hanging off the front more than the back and then just trace that around and then what I'm going to do is we want to mark how thick the boards are on the inside essentially we're just tracing enough of the board onto the wood so we know where to put our holes for our nails. have access to this in the future you could put some finishing nails or screws in this to uh, make it easier to take the top off to clean it out I chose to use nails just because it was something simpler and the heads were much smaller than a screw head now on to making the hanging part of this we wanted to take the two pieces we cut out at the beginning of this video and glue these together Now that everything is dried, we want to just give it a little chamfer on the edges to kind of take the edge off so you don't have a, a sharp edge there. It just makes it easier to handle. And we're going to want to make a hole right in the center of the end piece. And I'm just going to drill out a hole with an eighth inch bit and then chamfer it off. You don't have to chamfer it, but it does add to the appeal of this. And then two more holes to attach it to the back. And I use stainless steel screws to attach this to the birdhouse so that they will not rust. Now, all that's left to do is just a little bit of sanding. <laughs> and I mean a little bit, I mean a lot want to try to hit every corner on this thing to make it a little bit smoother to the touch and then I decided to paint mine brown you could paint yours any color you would like and just like that this project is all done 
It was really relatively simple and I hope that you were able to build this alone. If you were, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to know if you built this or you're planning on building it this spring. You know, with the spring right around the corner, I've got myself a birdhouse ready to go. So I want to thank you for watching this episode of Being a Craftsman DIY and I will see you next time in my workshop. Thank you.